What's going on guys? So today we got a TV sitting on this dresser, armor, whatever. Um, so we're going to be installing a TV mount on the wall. It's going to have a swivel and stuff. We got it at Harbor Freight. I'll show you what it looks like here. So this mount goes by different names, different part numbers, but right now it's currently called the Armstrong. 36 to 80 inch full motion wall mount holds up to 130 pounds. Here's my receipt. I paid $31.79 after tax and I also got this free tape measure. Um, should be compliant with pretty much almost all TVs. Alright, so there's a couple tools you're going to need. We're going to need a stud finder, a pencil, a level, Phillips head screwdriver, tape measure, a drill. We're going to need this bit, 7 30 seconds, um, and probably a socket. With Black Friday that just passed and Christmas coming up, I'm sure a lot of people got some TVs and need to put them up. So this is a affordable mount, holds a lot of weight, holds a pretty big screen. This is a 55 inch. So let's show you how to do it. Okay, just open the box. So this is what we got. We got the instructions here. We've got some mounting hardware. I believe this is if you have concrete walls, you'll use these. So we will not be. We just got standard drywall and stuff, but we will be needing these. This plate is going to mount to your TV or these brackets. So here's a ton of options, hardware for different scenarios. We'll find out what we need here. If you have a larger TV, you will possibly need these. I don't think we will. It depends, I guess, on the manufacturer and stuff. Um, there's nothing in this. Just fill in some space. So then this is our bracket. And this, by the way, this thing is pretty heavy. So this is the mount. So this plate is going to be bolted to your wall. This piece is going to be what connects to your TV. Um, this mount is going to end up connecting to it just like this. And then if you need these brackets, they're going to end up connecting here. So we're, we're going to do it piece by piece. You're going to want to connect your stuff to your TV. You're going to want to connect to this, this to the wall. And then you're going to want to combine everything together. All right, here are the tools you're going to need. A piece of paper, some tape that's uh, paint safe. If you don't have a stud finder, get yourself a powerful magnet or a little nail and a hammer. This tool is provided in the kit. You won't need to bring that. If you have a number three Phillips a screwdriver or a number two will work in a pinch. A scissor helped opening all the packages, a level, a pencil, a half inch wrench or socket. Um, you're going to need your drill bit which is a 7 30 seconds and a tape measure and a drill. So you've got those tools you can make this happen. Okay so I pulled the TV off I laid it on the bed. You don't want to lay it face down unless you have something soft to couch but you don't want to put pressure on the screen. So just keep that in mind. But so there's the back of our TV. These are the mounting holes. And it looks like we lucked out because this bracket is all we're going to need here. Um, it lines up perfectly with all the holes. Let me see. This is for VESA 1x100, one, one 2x100, or 2x200. This little plate. If you need all of these brackets and things, that's going to be for VESA 4x200 or VESA 3x300 or 4x400 or 6x400. So I'll show you because I've got this mount on another TV already. Okay, so here's our other TV with the other mounting hardware. Just to give you an idea. So that plate still bolts up, but then all the brackets line up together and bolt into the TV here and over there. So it is pretty universal, should fit almost all TVs. No matter the manufacturer, it has mounting hardware for everything. All right, so you can see for this particular mount, the instructions recommend we use bolt four through nine, spacer 13 or 14, and washer 10 through 12. So here on the bag, everything is numbered. It's a little hard to see because it's black numbers, black hardware, but 
you're gonna wanna go ahead and find the corresponding hardware. You're gonna, it's gonna take some test fitting. We'll see what fits here. Some bolts might be too big, some might be too small, some might be too thick, which is why they include all this stuff. So let's see what fits here. All right, for my TV I found, I need to be using either six or seven hardware. They're the same thread pitch. One is shorter, one is longer. The other two are different thread pitches. As far as washers go, um, so it said either 10 or 12. I can only use 12 because for my bolts, I need the, the wider one. And then for spacers, you need 13 or 14. So this will depend if you're using the long one or the short one. You gotta play around. So I just messed around with the two bolts. And the best configuration I'm coming up with for my TV is a washer, the small spacer, and the small bolt. So I'll show you a couple scenarios, different variations and why they don't work. All right, for one, you wanna kinda see where your bolt bottoms out. So right there, I am as far as I can go, even with the spacer, I still have more than another spacer's width here. So this is probably not gonna work with my setup. If I do this bolt with this spacer, there's, let's see how many turns we get. One, two, three, four. So we get about four full turns. If we add in this, we might lose a turn. That'll probably work. I just don't feel super comfortable with it. So if I put this and this small bolt with the small spacer, We bottom out here with a little bit of play. So if we add that washer plus the bracket, we won't bottom out and we're gonna be tight and snug. We're gonna be threaded enough. All right, so we got the necessary hardware we're gonna be using. You're gonna want a number three Phillips head screwdriver. Number two will also work, but number three fits it a lot better. So let's go ahead and put our spacers in place. Then we're going to sit our bracket up on top and then we're going to want the uh, bolt or the screw with uh, the washer going through the top. So let's just get it started by hand on all four corners. Alright, take your screwdriver and tighten them all down snug. Don't be afraid to put a little torque in here. Definitely. The, the number three Phillips head helps tightening. This is holding your TV after all, so it does need to be tight. Cool. So like I mentioned on our other TV, if you need to use these brackets, all the hardware is included. And you have to do a similar thing. You're gonna have to do some test fitting with some screws. Different, you might need to try some spacers. The instructions are there if you need them, but it, it's you pretty much gonna line up the holes on your TV with your brackets. You're gonna try and bolt it together with the provided hardware. All right, so this next part where we try and fit the bracket on the wall, this is gonna be a little challenge because I'm trying to set it up on this wall, but so that it sits caddy corner. It's gonna take some measuring. Every TV is gonna be a little different, but you're gonna to wanna to find, you need to find two studs. Should be 16 apart. That's a standard code in most states. Our studs should be 16 inches apart, so we're gonna try and find two here, and I'll show you how to do that. And then we're gonna start working on mounting this. All right, so I don't have a stud finder. The old school way is knocking, listening for a denser sound. When you hear it, you know you've hit it. So it sounds like there's one here to me. If you don't have that option, if you've got a magnet, a powerful magnet. So I, I'm, I'm speculating there's a stud here. So if I go through, I can feel, feel my magnets getting stuck. So there's nails and or or screws when they installed your drywall before they mudded it. So I can feel, I'm, there's there's something here, so I'm, I'm spot on. So the other trick, let's say you think you've located your stud, which I, I believe it's right there. If you've got, use a thin nail, a hammer, and just tap it in. If you get resistance, you've hit a stud. If you can push this nail straight through, then you just went through the drywall and there's nothing back there. Those are two tips, tricks you can use to find your studs if you don't have a stud finder. Magnet or a little nail and a hammer. 
All right, just another tip for finding studs is your outlet boxes or your cable boxes, also your light switches, they're always gonna be attached to a stud. So there is definitely gonna be a stud on one of these two sides of that box down there, one of these two sides of that box. And that's actually the one we're going off of right now. All right, so here's where we're gonna need to do a little bit of math. I have set the mount on the, the plate, the bracket, that we installed on the TV. I'm going to measure from the bottom of this bracket to the bottom of this TV to get an idea of roughly how high um, or how much space we need to be above our dresser when we install. Just under four inches. So you might want to uh, take into account if you're gonna install a sound bar or something under this, how much higher you wanna be. But I'm just gonna go five inches above the dresser, maybe six, we'll just go six. Six inches above where my dresser is, is where the bottom of my bracket needs to go on my wall. So let, let's do some math here. All right, so check this out. Our dresser is about 50 inches. I don't know that you can really tell, but our dresser is about 50 inches off the floor. So we're gonna go for 56 inches from the floor is where the bottom of our bracket needs to be. Um, so our holes may not be there, So, but we're just gonna need that information. All right, so check this out. Our mounting holes are, are these right here, if we put the tape measure about center to the bottom, it's about an inch and a quarter, it's hard to tell on a camera, but about an inch and a quarter from center of the hole. So we're gonna add an inch and a quarter to our measurement of 56. So 57 and a quarter is where we're gonna make our bottom holes for the studs. So this is where we got our first stud. We're gonna end up having to utilize these two studs here um, so with that number, 57 and a quarter from the floor, we're gonna wanna mark on this first stud. 57, one quarter. And again, just confirm you're on that stud. Ooh, this might be a problem. There is a nail right there. So I'm glad we, we tested this again. So let's just change our measurements since we don't need to be exact. Let's go up. Let's just say 58 inches. All right, so based off of our first mark, which you may not be able to see well, 16 inches off of that, you should have another stud. 16 inches, we'll mark that. Let's do the hammer and the nail test. All right, yeah, we hit a stud. So there's definitely a stud there. Let's go ahead and drill out these holes. Okay, I just wanna show you real quick. Here is my dots for the two holes. We are gonna be drilling. We are within level parameters. So I just wanted to verify, make sure my floor is not, not on level, this level, whatever the word is. So let's go for it. Okay, interesting to note is the cover of the box says to use a 7 30 seconds drill bit, but the instructions say to use a 3 16 drill bit. Um, this is the hardware we're installing. So you can see this one's just a little smaller this one's pretty close to the same diameter, which uh, I guess technically this should be right. I'm gonna start small and we'll see. If we need to go bigger, we can. I don't wanna make it too big and not be able to go back. Okay, the instructions state to drill three and a half inches deep into the wall. This bit is exactly three and a half inches. So, but what I was gonna do, if, was, if this was longer than three and a half inches, I would measure three and a half inches up and then I would apply tape, something like that, wrap it around so I know where to stop. But for this purpose, we're gonna just go as far as we can with what we've got. All right guys, here's just an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, taped and folded up. Um, make sure you put tape up here, but this will catch all your debris dust so you don't have to vacuum or sweep up after. Let's go center hole and drill. Make sure if you got a combo, you're on drill mode and you're set up to drill, not drive. Okay, let's do the same for the other. And then we'll mount this partially and then we'll drill the additional top two holes. All right, so I got two bolts with the washers provided, set up, ready to go. I've got a half inch socket or a wrench. If you got a socket or adjustable wrench, whatever will work. 13 millimeter will also work in a pinch. So make sure your bracket says up, is going up to the roof. Second person would help. 
let's just line this up here. Start by hand, get both sides in a little bit. Should have got a wrench with the socket, but it All right, so now that I've got these two in there slightly, I'm holding it up, hope, making sure we're level. I'm just gonna go ahead and mark. This is just offset on the third hole. I'll make that mark here. Same deal, just offset on the third hole. So I'll mark that in here. Now I'll remove it. I'll drill the top two holes. We'll put this back up and we'll mount the TV and we'll be done. All right, we got all four holes. Let's mount this, this piece. So in your kit, they actually provided six of these and six washers, but they only state they use four, plus there's no studs in the middle, and uh, there's not really holes to put anything else here. Get the bottom two started. So you can really feel it grabbing into your studs. If you don't feel that, then you may have missed or drilled at an angle. You wanna make sure when you make those holes you go straight in, not up or down and not side to side. All right, we're, this is the hardest part so far. Since we only drilled about three and a quarter inch, the very last part of bolting these bolts, these lag bolts in, is really tough because there's, there's no hole there, so we're making it now. All right, now that we've got all four in, we are level, just Check for play, make sure you got them all in tight. All right, so we're secure. Any movement that's happening now is happening on the flex of, of all these joints. So we're in there tight. To mount the TV, you're gonna need part 15. There's three um, TV mounting nuts. And then part 16, these little washers. As far as I can tell, 16, 23, 11, they're all the same washers in the kit, but you need three of them. So what we're gonna end up doing right now, we're gonna bring the TV up, we're gonna sit it on this mount. Um, the mount that's on the TV has little studs for us to put the washer and then the nut. So let's do it. We're gonna need help. All right, we're just, for the top one, we're gonna go ahead and put the washer and the nut because this part is open on the bracket that uh, goes right over there. So, I'm just gonna have this there so we can just place it. And then the kit, they provided this to tighten it so you don't need to go find another tool. Just lift her up. All right, so if you can see, we got the one nut on the top there and we're gonna have to just put in the two on the bottom now. All right, so we've got them in place. This is not secured yet. We gotta tighten it, and then we'll, we'll make some adjustments for level, and then we'll make some adjustments for tilt, and we will be done. So in an attempt to uh, show you a little better, I moved a couple things, but you see, we got one, two, and three. We just gotta tighten these down and secure it. These have little bevels on it, so we can level the TV before we secure everything. And then we can loosen this and adjust the tilt of the TV so that it'll sit slightly downward at an angle if we prefer. So with the provided tool, let's just continue the top one. So we'll do these bottom two, but we won't go all the way tight, we'll just snug. So we'll adjust for level. All right, you can see how it's rotating here because we haven't snugged at all. So let's get the level and make sure our TV is level. So where we're at is pretty dang level. Let's go ahead and tighten those all the way. It fits this spot pretty good. I think we did a good job. It looks pretty good. We are mounted. flat against the wall for whatever reason. Um, we 
can also swing it out. Set it right there. Not perfectly centered with our dresser, but that's okay. And then, like I showed you, that mount has an adjustment for tilt down. I don't know that we'll need it, but I showed you where it was at. All right, to adjust the tilt on the TV, there's this bolt and this bolt. You use the provided little wrench, loosen them, and then you can tilt to your desired degree and then tighten it back up. So that's it. We got our TV mounted to the wall. We just got a, any electrical hookups you want. It's plugged in already. It's a Roku smart TV. So it's pretty much one cable and that's all. It's, I hope this helped you. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. But yeah, if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching. I appreciate it.